right in front of him. He's uh, been kind of up and down. He went up for a while and then he moved backwards. But after fresh tires, Scott Riggs seems to be as fast as anybody on the racetrack. Riggs is in that 86 RC Cola Dodge. Crash on the back stretch, pretty we good. Got, oh my, up. Ryan McGlynn has tagged the inside barriers on the back stretch, bringing out our fourth caution. You can see him moving around inside that truck, so that's uh, that's the good news. But he did do very, very heavy damage to the uh, back end of that truck. He's probably done for the day. Window net is down. That lets NASCAR officials know that, yes, the driver is okay. Now he's sitting there waiting on everybody. The pits are closed. It'll be interesting to see this pit strategy now. There's only been about 10 left since the last pit stop. They don't need right side tires, but we're going to find out very quickly if these guys are going to make three stops and put on left sides or not. And let's get a look at it here. Oh, my. Man. He rolled it. He got upside down. He got clear into the inside of the truck. He hit those big tires that were protecting, uh, protecting that inside guardrail because of the angle, and he got completely upside down. A little bit. Might have been some contact there as Andy Houston might have touched him just a little bit, but he's going backwards and he gets oh. into those tires and boy, that's a sudden stop. And look at those, those tires. I don't know how much they weigh, but they're, you can't hardly move them with a tractor. Let's look on board with Jimmy Engelbright. You can see right there, he gets uh, turned around, but we didn't see the contact. But the reason those tires are there is because that cement angles in right there and it softens the blow. But Boy, I don't know whether it softened it very much or not for him because he hit those things a ton.